Hey party people, this is Jerry from Jumble, Jumble Live Plays Games and I'm with Patrick over at the Crafty Games booth and now we're talking about Mistborn, which is a RPG I believe that now you have a board game of. It's a whole world, I know that. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Talk about this game right here, House of War. Sure. Uh, so Mistborn House of War is a board game set in the Mistborn universe uh, by, based on the novels by Brandon Sanderson. Okay. Um, the idea in the game is that you're playing the nobles uh, that work for the Lord Ruler, who's the big bad in the novel series. Okay. Um, so this sort of flips the script. You're playing for the, uh, for the villains as the heroes are causing trouble for the Empire. Okay. You've got uh, Kelsier here, uh, who is one of the main characters in the novels. And his travel across this unrest track is going to tell you whether the empire stands or falls. Okay, that's one of the ways you know how the vic uh, how the game ends. If uh, if he ever gets here, it means that the empire has fallen, and you actually want uh, uh, the lowest possible score because the score is actually the Lord Ruler's favor. Okay, and you want to be as far away from you him want as to be as far away from as possible. Okay. In any, any other case, you want the uh, the score to be as high as possible because the empire has probably stood if it's at seven or lower, and so you want a lot of favor. How do you okay. get favor? You get favor by solving these problems. And the way you solve a problem is by working together in a free-form negotiation with every other player at the table. Whoa. No single house can, can solve a problem generally on its own. Okay. And so you're going to have to, uh, to uh, make, uh, make deals and uh, kiss some babies to try so, and make it all happen. Oh, wow. So you really are like chatting it up. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's, oh, it, man. It's a 100% diplomatic game. There's a little bit of card play with these right. personality cards here. Okay. Um, and they can adjust the way the deals happen. They can change the way the board is set okay. up. Okay. So they structure the deals and kind of make it juicy, like, hey, this is what you need to do. Okay. Exactly. Can you give me some examples of that? Do you have any, like, we can just kind yeah, of look at Yeah. So, real quick? for example, um, we've got Soother cards, and Soother cards, uh, Soothers are a, a magician in the world. And the soother cards can, uh, or uh, the soothers in the in the world can actually calm people. Okay. So the way we represent that, abstract it in the game, is that you can play them on a problem, and it actually moves the problem back, which oh, makes okay. it a little bit less likely to erupt, which is generally going to be bad for the empire and bad for everybody at the table. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, another, uh, you have these advisors that will actually give you more resources on your turn. Uh, you've got a variety of characters that are able to actually change the resources that are required okay. to solve problems. And there are cards in this deck that actually could kill any of these characters. So okay. people could actually oh. play them and you can go back and forth. Oh, okay. Have little mini card wars while you're okay. trying to, to um, make this so happen. So what's up with these characters? The character, uh, the, you said the, these character cards. I'm, trying, I'm looking at these icons. Uh, yes. I'm to... So this is House Venture, which is one of the main uh, uh, houses in the world. Right. They're favored because they have access to the Adium Mines. Adium is a magic metal uh, that's very powerful in the setting. Yes. Um, in this game, it's a wild. Okay. Uh, these are the resources that they get. They get prestige because they're uh, they're uh, a, a favored house. They get adium because they control the mines and they get a couple of personalities. Okay. Every time it's their turn, they're going to gain these resources. They're also going to gain control of the Steel Inquisitor. And the Steel Inquisitor is a, a, an agent of the Lord Ruler. Okay. You have a couple different options with him. You can just ignore the problems of the Empire, go over here, collect some resources, oh. go for another turn, or you could control which problem everyone's going to negotiate for their own oh, future. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, there's a lot going on here. I love the fact that there's like negotiation going on in here. Yeah. Uh, that's so me. I'm so chatty. So <laughs> <laughs> You would love this game. <laughs> I would love this game. I can get my buddies, I get my buddies all excited about it. <laughs> so once again, that's Miss, Miss Moore House of War. Where, where can we find out more information if somebody wanted to find out and read a little bit more about the lore and things like sure, that? Sure, yeah. Uh, the, the easiest way is go to mistbornboardgame.com. Okay. And uh, is there, you have an MSRP on this one at all? Uh, yeah, this one's fifty four ninety five. It's available from our website. We've also got a prestige edition that's got a bunch of extra goodies in it. Oh. Some extra promo cards, some card sleeves, extra minis. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for giving us that full overview. This is Jeremy from Jambalaya Plays Games. We are at the Crafty Games booth. We just talked about Ms. Four House of War. Thank you for your time, party people. PAX 2018.